good foggy frosty morning mc here with a little garden shed update got the north roof on yesterday wind started picking up so we had to bag it in the afternoon holding off on siding for now and doors because the priority is get the roof steel up but my pile of lumber is no more We've got that out of the yard. I've got the rest of the steel staged on the telehandler. I've uh, got a couple hours to go before my crew shows up. Uh, siding, we split that off. So this pile is the stuff for the sidewalls. Uh, relocated the uh, shorter, cut, shorter cut pieces that are going to work for the gable. Stuck those up here on this old blue bridge. Keep those up off the ground. A couple of pallets on them. Keep them from blowing away, plus strap down. This other sheet steel. Just took the packaging that they shipped the steel in. Modified it with some supports. Screwed a little parking brake on the end so the steel doesn't slide off. These are 29 foot long. Just been grabbing them with vice grips and a rope. So a pair of vice grips clamped on the left and right side of the sheet. Drag them up the roof. Hold them in position. A little frosty. So the south side of the roof is the attempt today. Uh, weather, it is pretty still out this morning. And 15 mile an hour winds expected uh, by this afternoon. So we'll see how much we can get done with that. But it's getting exciting now. We can get this roof done today. And then wife and I can concentrate on getting the sidewalls on. Got one more window to frame in, uh, one more service door to frame in. I'm waiting on my Menards rebate check to buy the rest of the sliding door hardware for this 12 foot door. And also waiting on the rebate for this nine foot wide, eight foot tall door. Yep, brother-in-law's on the way over to the farm. Daybreak, so sun is just peeking over the horizon. But otherwise, fairly clear day. I've got two more 2 by 4s to nail down on the trailing edge of this roof. I'll get that done before 10 o'clock. And I've got to build another little perch out the back so as we throw that last sheet of steel on we don't really have any place to stand so I've got a little catwalk made out of two by sixes all screwed into the framework up here on the north end and I just have to recreate that on the south end uh, I've got ladders that we used yesterday so those will slide down we'll get that started over on the west end that makes it a lot more convenient to walk up a 16 inch spacing than trying to walk up 24 inch spacing. And it gives you a place to put your drill, screws, hat, gloves, any other things you want to carry up there. Relocated the wood pile in here. I've been putting the house wrap on the sides. That way if we do end up insulating this thing down the road or spray foam or whatever, We've got that vapor barrier and that separation between the steel and the inside. So that way if we foam this and we ever want to change or have to change that steel out later, we've got a mold release or a foam release. Doors are just kind of temporary stubbed in there. I've got to shim those, get them squared up. And then uh, probably next year, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, get some concrete in this place. But we'll have window there. Another window.
go there, a service door just to the left of that step ladder, and then another window that I've got to finish framing here, right there, and one in the front. So that ought to let enough light in for what my intended use is. Basically just a storage building. Well, I better get to work. Daylight is burning. Thanks for watching. Hey, MC here. Weekend update. Got the roof on. This is the north wall. We have two sheets to put up, cut around the door. Got the pile of slag distributed around the building where that needed to go. So that way when we get freezing weather and all of the ice falling off the roof, I don't have a frozen pile of rock to deal with. I've got to trim a little off the roof on the back side and put some purlins in for the gable to get this west side done. But we got up to the second window last night and uh, called her a night, dead batteries on the drill and whatnot. So either way, I got a roof on the whole building. I've got to get this wall done and I can work on the roof cap, the ridge cap, get that sealed in. Uh, for now, all of these edges are going to stay as they are raw. I'm going to do a little drip edge over the door. Uh, but for the most part, I just have about an inch and a half of tin overhanging my roof, and we're going to call that done. So kind of a bronze look to the siding with the black roof. And I've got the bronze uh, corner caps, so we'll get this stuff capped off. I use the sheets that got marred up from the high-low forks, stuck those on the corner, so we'll cover those. I uh, got house wrap on on the sides anyway, at least on the 12 foot sidewall, so that ought to help cut down on any drafts or winds blowing through. I got a nice slope away from the building. I still got to get in here in the spring uh, or maybe summer when it dries, cut some of that dirt out of there so we get a little better natural drainage run down through the, the uh, west side of the building here, follow through down into the back low spot. For the most part, I think I got the grade about the way I want it for now till we get around to figuring out if we're going to just do gravel in this thing, uh, bring sand in, or eventually pour concrete. So I've got one vent up here for the building. Uh, I can tie duct or make up air or exhaust or whatever into that in the future. And one more window in the front. Did a two foot overhang on the front of this building and it's closer to a three foot. I think it's like 33 inches uh, overhang is the way the trusses came. So I used every bit that they sent me. Header in for the standard garage door. This is going to be nine feet wide, eight feet tall. Uh, window got moved to just the center of the barn. And then two windows to the west. So I threw a little slag down here. So when I throw the garage door in, we're not going to have a floor yet. So at least this will build up the elevation, keep some of the snow and the wind from blowing in until uh, we figure out this permanent floor. Got all the lumber under roof. I got all my steel under the roof, other than still have the ridge cap to finish. Again, on the east wall, I have purlins to put in there, so I've got something to screw to. And I'm not sure, I'll probably end up doing fascia up underneath the front, since you're going to see that from the driveway, so I'll have to put an F channel up um, at the top here. And then this is going to be a full-size 12-foot slider door. But if it's equipment... We'll get the rest of this stuff up off the wood. Um, I need those two by fours that the crating was used on to build my gable out. 
and I've got just a few two by fours of my pile left over there. I've got two by sixes left and uh, started working on framing in the other door over here till the cordless batteries died. So those are on the charger now. We'll get them charged up. And one more window is going to go in just on the back side of the machine over here. So I've got to get that framed up yet too. And then after we get it framed, we can get the sheeting, the uh, house wrap on, get the side sheet screwed down, get this thing somewhat enclosed. And yeah, 50 feet across, so this ought to work pretty decent for indoor pellet course. Get the air gun in here, get some of my garbage out of the weather. Start using my garden shed. Be ready for next spring, and uh, we'll work all that up with a big tractor disc. Fix the spots here where the JCB trenched. Like I said, cut some of the dirt out of here to get this little pond to drain out. Eventually, we might end up throwing a bump out greenhouse off this side, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching the journey, and uh, we'll do some updates as we get more completed.